Forgiveness, a word that every single golfer knows and needs a lot more of. Especially towards those higher handicap players and beginners, forgiveness is extremely important. And the clubs that you buy are more tailored towards forgiveness. You want something that helps you on those off-center strikes and goes a long way. Oh my God. With irons, there's a lot of them out there. And it's quite confusing as to which one you should purchase. So today, we're gonna to count down the top five most forgiving irons of 2022. Five. TaylorMade, the TaylorMade Stealth, the whole TaylorMade Stealth range for 2022. Something really special, I think we can all agree on that. This comes in at number five, and you may be a little bit surprised by that, but there is reason to this. Now, with the TaylorMade Stealth irons, there is only one for this year, and I feel like they're trying to cover quite a broad spectrum. So although it's got the new cap back design, which is supposed to be for really fast ball speeds, if you kind of look at it aesthetically, it doesn't look as forgiving as the others. And that's what we have noticed across the board with the entire Stealth range. We'll get to that in another video. The TaylorMade Stealth irons do offer forgiveness and fast ball speed, but I think it's more an all around package. You can see the offset of this club is quite minimal in comparison to other game improvement irons. It does still provide a lot of forgiveness, but if you do want a lot of help, there are other irons a little bit more suited towards you. Nevertheless, it does come at quite an affordable price now because it is on a yearly cycle and it is a really good looking iron, perhaps one of the best looking irons in this category. If you want an all around game improvement iron to help you with every part of your game, this is great. But if you want to focus on forgiveness, then maybe some that a little bit better for you. Oh. Mizuno. Now, Mizuno produced perhaps one of the best iron categories in the game. I'm in love with everything they produce. The Mizuno Pro range, JPX range, you name it, they really do just smash it out of the park every single time. Released in 2020, yes, a long time ago, the JPX 921 range provides a lot of options for every type of player. The most forgiving of which is the JPX 921 Hot Metal. Coming with extreme perimeter weighting with toe bias to help with those slices, it does help with forgiveness. And if you compare it to, let's say, the Stealth, it does offer a little bit more chunky. It's it's still an extremely nice golf club, but you can see perhaps from the offset, from actually looking down at a dress, it is slightly bigger than the TaylorMade Stealth. I do think, similar to the Stealth, it is a stunning golf club. I would rank the Mizuno first and the Stealth second in this category for aesthetics. Again, forgiveness wise, there are some that are a little bit bigger and offer more forgiveness, but I do think this is one of the best clubs that you can get for a game improvement type of club. And it doesn't have to be for just a high handicap player. I've seen a lot of people using the hot metal who are perhaps off, let's say 15 or so. And because there's so many options with the JPX 921 range, hot metal pro, tour, forged, there's something for everyone. These are actually also a very good price right now because it's coming to the end of their two year cycle. So you can get them for some decent deals or you could wait till the next release, whenever that will be. Green. Now, Cobra, a brand that produces some really nice clubs that are slightly cheaper than some other brands and maybe a little bit overlooked, especially the irons. The new Cobra LTD X irons are big. I will show you now. They are a big club down at address and they do provide a lot of forgiveness. But with the looks and the new PowerShell face, you can get some really good ball speeds across the entire face. You kind of see a consistent trend now with a lot of brands asking you, what do you want? As a game improvement player, what do you want? And it's across the entire face is what's most important because every single person does not hit the sweet spot every single time. And I really do feel like Cobra have catered to this perhaps better than anyone else in this category. I think across the face, you do get some really consistent results here. Is it the best looking? No. No, I don't think so. Does that feel the best? No, I don't think so. That will probably go down towards the Taylor made and Mizuno range, but when you're going towards game improvement and actual forgiveness itself, this one is pretty high up there. As well as that, as on a yearly cycle, you can get some really good deals with these, and realistically, year on year, they don't increase that much in terms of the actual performance. They are pretty similar. As with Cobra and all the ones that I've mentioned so far, they are some very strong lofts. They are gonna go a long way. So I would recommend getting custom fit because you don't want your four iron to fly out like a two iron, really low, no spin, and you'll really struggle to hold in the greens. We don't want that, and you don't want that. Overall, the Cobra coming in at number three, I think is pretty fair for forgiveness here. It's a great club, and if you do want to try it out, head down to your local pro shop. Callaway. So the Callaway Rogue ST range for 2022 has been extremely successful. It perhaps has flown a little bit under the radar because it doesn't really have that much of a wow factor when you're looking at the stealth and things like that. But the technology that goes into Callaway Rogue ST is absolutely phenomenal. There's so many things that really provide a full package, not just forgiveness. The AI flash face cup and also the tungsten weighting really does make this a fast, great feeling, forgiving iron. This is why it comes in at number two, because I think there are other things, the Stealth, Mizuno, that are an all around package, but I think this just about tops it. 
As well as that, there are three models in the Forgiving Rogue ST range. So you can get some stronger lofts and even more oversized version. So it really is fine tuned to whatever you want. We always say get custom fitted for these because I wouldn't just get one off the rack. There's three options available. And the Rogue ST Max, the one that comes in at number two, isn't that large, but because of the technology involved, it provides so much forgiveness. But I think it's really special. When reviewing these, I found they went a long way and my forearm actually went 280 yards at one point. So they've got forgiveness and they've got distance. From how I've hit them, I definitely think they could be right for your game. One. Number one, we've gone through all the main brands. Which one is it gonna be? Perhaps a little bit of a surprise, but the Wilson Launchpad, I cannot not put this anywhere else. It has to be number one for forgiveness. An extremely wide sole with a hollow body iron. It's almost like all of these clubs are hybrids. And yes, a lot of you may be looking at that thinking, I don't want this. But wait a second, because when I tried these out, I was a little bit apprehensive as well, thinking they were just not an ideal iron for someone. They're too big, they're not very good looking. But when I hit them, I was blown away by the performance and the overall forgiveness. They feel great, especially for a hollow body iron with such a wide sole and they have unbelievable turf interaction. For someone who wants forgiveness, game improvement, I truly think these are the best irons to purchase to begin with. From a bad shot, wherever on the face, you're still gonna get some nice feel and some really good results. The dispersion particularly is what I noticed with this club, providing me with just a really easy club to just hit some casual rounds of golf with. The only thing I would say with it is that because it is so large with such a wide sole, in terms of handicap range, once you get down to let's say 20, 15, 10, you wanna focus on something that is a little bit more aesthetic pleasing but that slight negative I think is really negated by all the other positives with the Wilson launch pad for 2022. Also comes at quite a decent price as competitive as all the others. Guys, that is our quick round off of the top five most forgiving irons of 2022. You can see, I think I've had a look at some other people talking about this as well, and they're pretty similar across the board. If you want an all around performer, there's definitely one in this top five that could suit you. But if you're going for forgiveness, this is why we've put the Wilson Launchpad at number one. Guys, if you are new around here, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our videos. We've got a lot of fun things coming in the next few months. So make sure you smash that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. It really helps us out. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you